was good fun. Charan is somebody uh, I really like personally. Uh, a man with uh, a very calm center that he has as a director. Uh, and and I've done some very nice projects that I remember with him. Uh, for instance, uh, JJ is a is a film that I worked on with him. Uh, I did Gemini. Uh, these are all for me uh, memorable experiences. Um, Charan has a very nice. He's fine tuned to what will work on screen. What has a, 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 a an element of uh, popularity in it? At the same time, not compromising on the aesthetics. Um, for instance, Kiran's character, we did use bright colors in Gemini. We did go with uh, sequin, but it he would allow me to do this tastefully. Uh, the requirement of the character and the Madri. Um, in Asal, for instance, uh, he gave me very clear instructions on what he was looking for in, in, in Samira's character or in Bhavra's character. What is the difference between the two of them? And the character difference would have to come out also in the costume differences. The style of dressing up, their body language, their makeup, their hair. In every way, the the two characteristics will have to come out and that he was very clear about and we talked about how we were going to bring this forth what are the colors we were using for Samira if people look closely at the film they'll notice that for Samira we used only certain colors and for Bhavna we stayed within a certain color frame it was really not my idea it was really uh, the directors and Yugi Seto's idea of dividing the color palette between the two girls to bring out their character, the directions their life was taking, uh, the direction in which their characters were heading, the direction in which the story was heading. Uh, I thought it was a it was really a, a, a very nice touch and of course uh, Samira was supposed to have come from London, she was London, France uh, she was a girl who was born and brought up uh, somewhere else, not in India, and the costumes needed to speak that language. So, well, we did our best. We shopped elsewhere. We bought brands, and uh, I thought we hit bullseye as far as she was concerned. No, I, I think uh, whenever I've done a two heroine film on which I have done both their costumes, I think it's been very peaceful. I mean, uh, uh, one of the biggest examples uh, should be Kandu Kundain in which I had Aishwarya Rai on one hand and Tabu on another hand. But, um, and in Asal, Bhavna and Samira, uh, I don't think uh, um, we've had any such, I have never faced any uh, problems about any of this. It really depends on the artist. I mean, the more comfortable they are in their skin, the more confident they are about themselves. I don't think they're going to let in any any of this spill over into their lives uh, if they are confident in themselves. So I must have only dealt with very very confident actresses. So I've never had any problems with that. Surya is uh, someone who works harder on his on the costumes than I do. Um, normally, uh, he will do a lot of research. He would have thought of, about different ways in which he could even wear a shirt. Uh, it's always been a, a, f a combination of what, how he is defining his own character, and how we are defining it. Uh, for instance, in Ghazni, a lot of what he wore was, was all something that he worked over. He thought he should wear some colors. Uh, we got this okayed by the director. So it's really been, I mean, uh, as far as Surya's films are concerned, it is 
very very teamwork um he would have thought about the character a lot more than i would have and therefore we do listen to him uh whenever we we work with him that is the only film i have done with her it it was a very nice experience uh but as far as ian was concerned it was a full film that i was working on for kv anand everybody so f- e- 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 everything and everyone becomes important to me not just the hero not the heroine uh there was jagan there there were a lot of other people who also needed to be looked after uh, catered to look set for them mm, there was prabhu sir you know many people come under your umbrella when you do a whole film so you need to get that much uh, more energy going and um, some of the looks that we created for tamanna i thought was very cool of course uh, um many of these the the direction was pointed to us uh, by kb anand uh like the hippie look that we generated for tamanna in the song i i thought she looked really very 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 cute in it um but the look through the film was that of a middle class girl who would wear unusual combinations you know t-shirt and pavada uh formal shirt and uh, a wrap around skirt just an ordinary girl who's caught in an extraordinary situation you know that i think is what we wanted to get at and i think we somehow managed that <laughs> see I, i don't do all her films um sometimes i do them sometimes uh, uh, other designers work on them but yes it, in in a sense uh probably you're right in the sense that there might be a smell of duplication but it also comes from the kind of films you take up and the kind of characters you play and um, and the kind of projects you work on sometimes what happens is if people have seen her in a certain kind of a look they'll say that looked so good in that film so why don't we do something similar to that so what happens is we we come upon a kind of look that has worked for her and sometimes we st- stay by that and that's why this happens